you had a co-founder and that ultimately didn't work out. How did you navigate through that and not have it cost you the business? Yeah, it was difficult. Co-founder situation was harder because he was a dear friend of mine. At the time I was told you're never going to fundraise solo. You need a co-founder. So that was drilled into my head that I had to go find a co-founder. I don't know where they are and what it should be. There's not a grocery store for that. Oh yeah, I'll take two, there three, two co-founders. Yeah. By, by. It felt like that. The way it was being described felt like that. Just go get one off the shelf. I didn't want to just find someone who was a CTO or whatever. Like I really wanted to be in partnership with someone who believed in the mission. Looking back, of course, you see your own insecurities later. I didn't trust myself enough to actually not say, no, fuck it, I, I got this alone, right? And not that I did, you always need help, right? And he was incredibly helpful, but I think there is a reliance on people for things you don't think you have, but you do. It took me many years to get to that point where I was like, I've done a lot of things that I didn't give myself credit for. 